Hi everyone, in this video I'll talk about what is impact factor and how it is calculated. Journal impact factor is actually a frequently used as an indicator or measurement of the importance of a journal to its field. It is based on yearly average number of citations to articles published in a journal from last two years. It shows how many times on average each article published in a journal is cited over the next two years after its publication. That is why it is called impact factor which indicate that how many times the article published in the journal have been cited. Journal impact factor is a measure uh, reflecting the average number of citations to article published in the index journal. Now index journal means those journals which are indexed in web of science indexing agency. For example, a journal having impact factor 2 means that journal receives on average 2 citations per article. The impact factor of a particular journal for 2019 is calculated as total citation 2019 divided by total paper published in 2017 and 2018. So if you see this formula, it is impact factor is simply a ratio or average number of citations per article published in two years. Here is one example how impact factor is calculated. For example, uh, if you want to know the impact factor, I want to calculate the impact factor of Journal of Contemporary Research in Education for 2019, then we have to see, see uh, the 2018 issues, number of articles and 2017. So we'll, let's say in 2017, 20 articles were published by the same journal. In 2018, 30 articles were published by the same journals. So another thing we, which we need to require is the citations. How many times 2017's articles were, were cited in 2019? For example, these are the 80 citations, which means that in 2019, 80 times papers were cited by paper which are published in 2017. In 2018's paper citation in 2019 is for example 40. So total articles published in 2017 and 2018 50. Let's see 20 articles published in 2017, 30 articles published in 2018. So total article published in last two years were 50. And total citations counted in the current year 120 80 plus 40 so in this way we can calculate the impact factor of this channel for 2019 which is simply a ratio or average of 120 divided by 50 120 is actually the citations divided by 50 which is the number of paper published in last two years so the resulting number is called impact factor which is here 2.40 now 2.40 means is it is how we can interpret that this journal on average each paper is cited 2.4 times that's why some of the editors wants uh, uh, their uh, potential authors in the manuscript that they should publish uh, they should cite uh, the paper of the same journal so that the impact factor can be increased so if you see this formula the more citations you have the more impact factor would be for that journal here is another example uh, for example uh, total citations 2019 total paper published in 2017 18 so here is one other example in citation 2019 to paper published in 2018 were 58 Citation 2019 to paper published in 2017 was 107. So total citations for previous two years paper were 165. And total paper published in 2017 was 25. Total paper published in 2018 was 30. So total paper published in last two years 55. So impact factor is simply 165 which is total number of citations in the current year divided by total number of paper published in last two years. So the impact factor for general year 2019 would be 165 divided by 55 which is 3. 
So 3 means a general impact factor of 3 for 2019 means that on average article published in 2017 and 18 were cited 3 times in 2019. So there, that's why this impact factor for that particular journal can be calculated e each year and each year it may be a different uh, impact factor. There are some certain limitations of impact factor. Impact factor as I as it is simply a mathematics. Uh, the more number you have, the more cita more citation you have, the more impact factor would be. So therefore, uh, the self citations may influence the impact factor calculation. And many times, editor insists that author cite works in that journal, so that the impact factor would be uh, increased. Some discipline tend to cite more than others. So that is also one of the limitations and drawbacks in impact factor. That's why people criticize it too much. And one of the other uh, drawback or uh, criticism on impact factor, that it does not take into account the negative citations. For example, if you see the previous formula, uh, number of citation divided by number of uh, paper published. So num for example, if you Look at this citation 2019 to appear paper published in 2017 is 107. Now we don't know how many times paper were appreciated or knowledge were obtained or people cited in a positive way in out of 107 times. Because in during a literature review some authors may uh, criticize particular paper saying that XYZ also use the smaller sample size. So that negative citations also count and contribute towards the impact factor. That's why that is uh, one of the biggest uh, criticism on impact factor that it does not account into account the negative citations. So if this is the case then what's next? So there are some other uh, general quality indicators like eigenfactors, article influence and SGRs, H-index, sites per docs and SNP. So these six are most common, uh, is most common general quality indicators or measures or which can be replaced by general impact factor. And two of the most common uh, indexing agency Web of Science and Scopus provide the quality indicators of each journal of these uh, these all six in provide all these six indicators so in next video i'll explain how these particular uh, journal quality ind indicator can be calculated and what exactly that mean is